Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Convo Couch. I am Pasta Jardula. I'm filling in for Johnny Sue and Fiorella while they're in vacation in sunny Seattle at the Chaz Chop and Resort. I'm here working my butt off making videos about sauces and also talking about Epstein. Yes, that's right. Ghislaine Maxwell has been brought to justice. She is now in custody. So let's just break right into it. The New York Times says... Ghislaine Maxwell, associate of Jeffrey Epstein, is arrested. She'd been hiding out in New Hampshire this whole time for over a year. There was speculation that she was in Brazil, maybe she was in France, maybe she was hiding with some top people in Israel. Inside the New York Times, it says this. The arrest of Miss Maxwell, Mr. Epstein's former girlfriend and longtime associate, was the latest twist in a legal saga that has been a source of international intrigue and conspiracy theories. The case is drawn in prominent academics, politicians, business leaders, and even British loyalty. Miss Maxwell's arrest came almost exactly one year after Mr. Epstein was charged in a federal indictment with sexually exploiting and abusing dozens of girls and women at his mansion in Manhattan, his estate in Palm Beach, Florida, and other locations, and other locations like maybe New Mexico, maybe Epstein Island, who knows, there was an apartment in New York, uh, Manhattan we talked about, there's other places, there was even talk in France of stuff going on when it came to Mr. Epstein. Now the question is, what does this arrest mean for the elites? Uh, but first, before we talk about that, because that is the big question, I want to talk about how we knew this coming. Uh, and you really have to pay attention to this because it's the job of the media and Hollywood to do as they always do, and that's push their propaganda. And a lot of times when the public is starting to catch on to things like they were catching on to the whole Epstein kind of case, uh, they have to put out some information, but then change the narrative. And they do this all the time the media they get out in front of it that's what they do uh, they do it in the case of regime change when you talk about belarus take a look at this tweet i put up a long time ago um remember this it says obviously just coincidence that the guardian and nato and u.s government funded sepa and the atlantic council have taken the exact same line on belarus at almost the exact same time p.s the slipper revolution is the lamest color revolution name yet. So what does that mean? That means the media gets out in front. Um, and it's also something to take a look at when it comes to Operation Mockingbird, when you have to think about that. That is the talk about the way the CIA has uh, not so much just informant, but their own journalists now jockeying propaganda for the CIA and the elites. So they get into the media and they plant seeds and they talk about narratives. It's like the, the public's getting this close, this close, this close. Let's change the narrative. Let's send it this way because they're getting too close. Uh, and that's what they did in this case. All of a sudden they started talking about the situation. Alan Dershowitz is another great example. A week ago, he named Barack Ahud uh, the Israeli Prime Minister, the former Israeli Prime Minister, that was another sign of something big to come when he named him in the court. Uh, and a lot of people questioned that, like, what's going on? Why is he doing that? So now you have the mainstream media uh, and then little signs. Uh, but the biggest sign, I think, was uh, Netflix. They were whitewashing this whole Epstein uh, situation with global partners. In other words, they were trying to make it seem like he was just a bad apple. And nobody said it better than Lee Camp. Not only did Netflix and Investigation Discovery avoid the intelligence, the Israeli intelligence angle altogether, they avoided the larger picture entirely in perhaps the only mention that Epstein is part of a much larger operation. Elizabeth Voss says the final section of the fourth episode in Netflix's series includes a survivor stating that this was not simply an Epstein operation, but an international sex trafficking ring that reached all over the world. Epstein is described as a very small piece in a huge network, but the documentary goes no further than that. Ah, so the mainstream media is using the bad apple defense, just like they do with the police. Epstein was just a bad apple. If it hadn't been for Epstein, the sex trafficking of children would have been working just fine. And that's what they do. They, they sit there and they try to make it look like something different, okay? People are on to something really serious over here that they the elites or somebody was using our children like currency. And as we got closer and closer, 
the thing that the elites want to do is they want to make this go away. All right, they're getting caught right now. Okay, um, so what do they do? They set this own narrative, and that narrative with the Netflix film is that Epstein is just a bad apple amongst a bunch of people, and it's really not about you know the other connections that people are questioning, whether it be our CIA, the Mossad. I mean, surely Ghislaine's Maxwell's, Maxwell's father and his connections, what he had in Parliament, and whether he was killed thrown off his yacht back in the days on the Lady Gazane, Ghislaine, excuse me. It's all those connections are very, very weird. But the main thing we have to look out for here is the signs that are given to us by Hollywood, the signs that are given to us by the media. I always say, what do they want you to think? Okay? It's not even sometimes to tell a whole different story. It's that when the public is getting that close, they have no choice but to change the narrative. So what do the elites want us to know? Because the political spin has begun. Let's start with Donald Trump, because a lot of the neo labels are stating that Barr was trying to fire uh, Berman last week uh, before he, they can bring in Ghislaine to expose Donald Trump, uh, and that's a big question over there because we got to remember a couple things. Because I don't necessarily buy this, and you can see they put not at all related to firing Trump, um, because Donald Trump hired uh, Berman, Jeffrey Berman who is the uh, New York's top federal prosecutor. He was hired by Donald Trump. However, he's been up Donald Trump's butt ever since he's been in office. And I'm not just talking about the Michael Cohen situation, because that's a big one, but there were other situations. Now he looked like he was targeting Giuliani. So I don't buy the fact that they were trying to fire Jeffrey Berman before he exposed Donald Trump by bringing in Ghislaine Maxwell. I'm sorry, that just I don't buy that whatsoever. You got to, like I said, he hired the guy. The guy was after him. The Cohen thing really pissed him off. And then you got Giuliani. Um, however, that doesn't necessarily uh, get Trump out of any scrutiny from me because uh, the evidence part. Okay, there's a lot of evidence that does kind of point, and this is a fair argument. Is Donald Trump part of the cover up? with the elites, okay? There might not be a lot of ties that would tie uh, Donald Trump directly to Jeffrey Epstein's pedophilia ring. Like, he, there, is not, there isn't any evidence that Donald Trump has been on the island. Uh, there is evidence that Donald Trump did bar Jeffrey Epstein from his club years and years ago. Uh, there was evidence that he was on the plane one time, and I don't think he, Jeffrey Epstein was even on the plane then. He was right, hitching a ride. He didn't go to the island. Uh, he is in the black book, Donald Trump, but that's not enough to tie it for me. Um, it's the flight logs that really do a lot for me. Who went to that island? You know, who had that close connection? There's not even a lot of financial connections between Donald Trump uh, and Epstein. There's a ton of picture when they're out and about back in the days. But once again, not a lot of evidence that ties him right there. But once again, you have to ask, is Donald Trump part of the cover-up? Because there are two main reasons why I say you have to question Donald Trump. Number one, Jeffrey Epstein is supposedly hanging himself, killing himself under Donald Trump and William Barr's watch, that's inexcusable. This is the most wanted man on the planet. You get him into custody and then he hangs himself. So that makes me question Donald Trump's role here, okay? How could you let that happen, Donald Trump? It should be on a live stream of recording. Right now, I hope Keelan Maxwell is being live streamed. Don't let the public's eye off this woman. Uh, and number two, the fact that William Barr still remains on the case. William Barr's father, gave Jeffrey Epstein his first job teaching in New York and Brooklyn years and years ago. Barr, William Barr today, should recuse himself, get away from this case, but the fact he's even there makes me question what Donald Trump's role is. Uh, I don't think he's necessarily guilty. I haven't seen the big proof of him being on that island, being with children. Uh, he certainly wasn't in the flight logs as much as Bill Clinton for 27 times, but the fact that Jeffrey Epstein did get away or was killed, it's inexcusable and bar on that case, we gotta question those things. Trump's son should also calm down as well. Uh, Trump's son was putting up pictures of Bill Clinton uh, walking uh, his daughter down the aisle and Ghislaine's face kind of popping in and looking. The only problem is that really st uh, stoked the left to start putting out all the pictures of Donald Trump with Ghislaine Maxwell back in the days as the socialites were out and about hanging around town, doing whatever. Now, let me say this much. It's a far cry. It's a big difference between going to somebody's wedding, the way Ghislaine Maxwell went to Chelsea Clinton's wedding, than just taking pictures out and about with Donald Trump at, when they're all out and about in all these situations. That doesn't excuse it. 
uh, that's, it, excuse me, I don't want to say, that's a big, big difference. And I think we can't lose sight of the. Does that mean that Donald Trump's innocent? Not by any means. Does that mean that he didn't have a relationship with Epstein? Not by any means. Does that mean he's not even guilty of possibly uh, going to the island and having, you know, relationships? I mean, I, I've seen people start rumors that they said that Ghislaine Maxwell has a sex tape with Donald Trump online. Okay, I haven't seen anything close to that. And I want to talk about this next person because this is the person that really it means the end for. And that's Bill Clinton. We have an enormous amount of evidence of Bill Clinton being involved close to Jeffrey Epstein, financially all over the place. Uh, he's went in the flight log so many times. But the news spin now is on the left is that Bill Clinton and Ghislaine Maxwell uh, had an affair. Now, this came out in a book just a couple months ago. And this is also another sign, once again, that the elites and the media are trying to get out in front of it. They're really trying to excuse Bill Clinton's actions by saying that he wasn't there going to the island to sleep with little children. He wasn't going to be a pedophile. He was actually there just hanging out and kicking it with Ghislaine, and they were having an affair. Give me a break. That doesn't excuse him going to that island all the time. And also the Clintons. Let's not forget, and this is why Hillary's got to be, she should be brought into question, okay? I mean, the elites are playing games, no doubt. Remember the whole New Mexico ranch uh, situation with the Clintons? The Clintons used to vacation there. They even said that Chelsea was there a couple times. So really, to tell you the truth, this Ghislaine Maxwell coming in, if there is any real justice, and I don't know if there is, the Clintons would be bye-bye, gone, especially Bill. You know what I'm saying? Just out of it, done, see you later. Um, and that would be the honest to God truth. So that's about Bill and that's about Donald, okay? And those are the two people that's kind of a lot of stuff spinning on around. Now, here's my final theory. What I think is going to happen is that Ghislaine Maxwell is going to name about five people, five people in particular, and these five people might go down. Might. Uh, once again, the reason why I didn't cover this story a lot is that nobody was ever brought to justice. Nobody was ever held accountable. I mean, it's disgusting. The elites are using our children as currency, and there's a lot, a lot of proof of all these six sacrificial things. You just go over Epstein's Island, you see it, okay? Uh, but my final theory is this, and let me get back into it because I don't want to drift too far off. There are five people I think that might be the sacrificial lamb. And that means that the public already knows about these five people in particular that the elites might feel or they think they can get away with it by quenching the thirst for justice from the public if they give up these five people. And then you'll either see Ghislaine kill herself or you'll see her disappear or she'll cop a plea bargain. And it's really disgusting if she does cop a plea bargain because a lot of people feel that Ghislaine is even worse than Jeffrey Epstein because she actually conditioned these girls, okay? She was the, the, the link in the chain where Jeffrey Epstein was able to obtain all these girls and use these girls as currency, these pet, this pedophilia, because Ghislaine is the one they trusted. They trusted another woman. They trusted a, a young girl trusted a woman and therefore she got burned. So if she cops a plea deal, it's going to be very, very sad. But let me name the five people's name. Number one, Les Wexner. He's going to be the first to go. He's the one suspected. First of all, he's very old. He's suspected of giving or gifting Jeffrey Epstein the Manhattan place or supposedly he would get girls uh, that he would take them and eventually give them off to Epstein uh, from the Victoria's Secret uh, catalog of, of, of women that they were just abusing. Uh, so watch out for Lex Wexner to be one of the people that will go down. Number two, Prince Andrew. He had an awful interview on the BBC. He tried to talk his ass out of it. There are pictures with this guy. He even said that the photo was doctored. He's very, very desperate. Uh, I don't even like to call him Prince Andrew because I don't think he's a prince. He ain't royalty to me. There's no such thing. He just plays costume every once in a while. And I like to call him asshole Andrew. So he's the number second guy. Number three, Bill Richardson. There's so much evidence against Bill Richardson. Um, what went on in New Mexico. He ties it all together uh, because he'll be the sacrificial lamb that will also kind of let the mindset and, and the mentality of the public drift away from what's going on in New Mexico. Because New Mexico's a lot, a lot of questions over there. Transhumanism is what he was uh, practicing over there. And that will bring you to the next part, Bill Gates. He's number four. Bill Gates has a lot of questions about the money he's got from Epstein, uh, what what his role is. Uh, I think that he might be a sacrificial lamb as well. Uh, and number five is Kevin Spacey. Because right now, new photos have been emerging 
all over the internet of Mr. Kevin Spacey sitting on a throne in the royal palace uh, of Prince Andrew, and they were guests. There's Ghislaine and Kevin. And as you know, Kevin Spacey was accused sex offender, and he got off uh, only to find his name back in the news, and we will see what will happen. But, you know, uh, really in a perfect world, we'll get all the names, all the people who were, the, who were involved. Remember, they a lot of people claim this was a worldwide sex ring. Uh, so to just brush it off as a few bad apples, and that's what they're going to attempt to do. I think the public is just has so much knowledge of what's going on that the elites have to give them some red meat, and that's the red meat they'll attempt to give. So uh, we have to pay close attention. We have to see what's going on. Um, I'm a little skeptical, but hopefully we'll see some arrest from some people. We'll get some real information. We'll get some real knowledge out there because really it's all about the victims. The victims deserve justice and they deserve to know everybody who was involved. So does the public and we have to bring down the elites. And this is the reason why, because if not, you'll have sex rings like Epstein's all over this world. Papasta Jaradula, combo out.